and welcome back to Rugged Mountain Homestead. My name is Sarah and today we have our Azure Standard Hall. This order is actually the largest one we have ever done. It is 13 cases. Uh, why do you ask why we have so much product this month? Um, because we are going to be getting ready for the winter season, um, doing some more canning, um, and well, let me just show you. Organic russet potatoes, and this is a 25 pound bag of cane sugar. And believe it or not, 50 pounds of potatoes is not excessive for Dean and myself. Earlier this year, I got about 40 pounds of potatoes and I canned them all up. I froze some of them and we ate some fresh and I think I have three quarts left of the canned potatoes and probably just a couple pounds of frozen diced potatoes. I have made such a large order because next month is going to be the last order we do for a little while. The weather in Colorado can get pretty dicey um, so last year, my first order started in February. So February, March, probably when I order again. So I want to make sure that we are stocked up for the winter. This was also a year um, to see, I was actually monitoring our annual usage of food. And I know that we go through 100 pounds of potatoes, uh, flour, and sugar. Um, it's not excessive. I do a lot of baking. I try to make all of our food as much as possible from scratch. So let's go ahead and get started and see where I'm filling in the gaps and what we have um, in this haul for the month of October. I started off with five pounds of blackberries and then I replenished the blueberries. Blackberries I'm planning on making um, jam with those. And then the blueberries I just use for baking. Dean loves blueberry muffins, and that's usually what I use those for, or a dessert. Getting stocked back up on tomato products, crushed tomatoes and diced tomatoes. Um, when the season gets cooler, we're going to be having a lot more soup, chili. I make my own spaghetti sauce, um, and I hope to be able to be able to can my own tomatoes someday soon. I'm also going to try these brown waxed paper bags. We do use a lot of baggies, um, and a lot of times I will pre-make something for Dean, but I was reading in one of my um, vintage cookbooks that a lot of ladies, they used wax paper to wrap pre-made sandwiches and they actually put them in the freezer. So they're lined with paraffin wax. They're a pretty decent size. So that's actually what I'm going to do. I'm going to you know, pre-make some things, some lunch things, because sometimes I get busy during the day and um, I would just like to see how they turn out. So I have a box of brown wax paper bags. They're also good for the microwave. We don't have a microwave in the house, but they say they're good in the microwave. They're able to be used. Here I just have one sitting out, but I did order 18 pounds of butter. I have nine in the freezer up here in the cabin and then nine in the deep freeze. But we go through a good bit of butter. I'm going to try this prebiotic toothpaste. I've never tried their toothpaste before, um, but I just, I wanted to see, I wanted to see what, you know, if this is any better, um, we'll see. It actually was a better price for a larger tube. Most tubes that we get are 5.75 ounces, and this one is six and a quarter, and about the same price. A refill of molasses. I use molasses in all kinds of baking and for brown sugar. I make my own brown sugar. We have Nancy's Probi Probiotic Cottage Cheese. I really like her cottage cheese. And um, knowing that it's probiotic, it just makes me feel good about it. More salsa for Dean. Um, the medium didn't seem to be too much of a kick for him, so we're going to try the hot this time. I 
onto the Liggett shampoo bar. Let me tell you, I was very leery of a shampoo bar. I figured it was going to be like using a bar of soap, that my hair would be sticky. Um, you know, just the, all the things you think of when you think of washing your hair with a bar of soap. Um, and normally you wouldn't do that unless you were in a tight situation. But I've heard so much about it, so I wanted to try it. I did. I am not exaggerating. After I used this for the first time, my hair felt so clean. Um, I didn't feel like there was any product or any type of residue or, um, you know, I washed my hair with shampoo and conditioner before and, you know, would get up a lather and all that, but still it didn't, it wasn't quite naturally soft. I could just tell a difference. I really liked it. I don't have to use conditioner with this soap. It leaves my hair very soft and it just feels very clean. So I bought another bar. I'm not out. I probably have half the bar left of the previous one and I believe I ordered it back in August. So it's lasting pretty well. I also ordered sunflower oil this month. I have never used sunflower oil but I'm going to try it. The only reason I'm using sunflower oil or trying it is because olive oil has gotten so, so expensive. Um, to order it by the gallon, you're talking like $50, $60, and I just cannot justify that. We have Pomona's Universal Pectin. This is a really nice pectin. It goes a long way, um, and I'll be using it to make the blackberry jam. My soap here, I use this soap for myself, the uh, Dr. Bronner's Castile soap, and this is rose scented. I really like it a lot. I bought one in August to try, and I still have it, it's still going strong. Um, so I wanna have another. And then this lavender bar, I shred up and use in making powder laundry detergent. And I really like the way that it turned out in the laundry detergent, so I went ahead and got another one, so I'll be making more. Just an organic lip balm. Um, this time of year, living at 6,600 feet in altitude, um, I can't have enough of this, so I wanted to try this lip balm and see um, if it was any different from what I'm currently using, if it felt any differently. It is that time of the year, we have some acorn squash here they're very they're very good size I and mean, I can't get my hand around them to pick them up yeah there we go I'm planning on cutting these in half and I have a recipe um, to make a stuffing to go inside of them and I just want to see how this turns out and then if Dean really likes it and it you know is a hit here then I'll plant some for next year Another bottle of lemon juice. I use this in some of my cooking or baking, and I will use it in some of the canning. Vanilla extract, the fourfold. You'll notice this is a bigger uh, bottle than what I normally get. I was getting the four ounce bottles, but I went through a four ounce bottle the past six weeks just doing my coffee. So I went ahead and got 16 ounces. I like the fourfold vanilla extract better than just regular um, vanilla extract because it has a stronger vanilla flavor. It's, uh, I think there's less alcohol when, be, when making it. I think that's what it is, but it has a very a much stronger uh, flavor. I have five pounds of flame raisins here. Um, I got five pounds instead of my usual one because with the cooler weather getting ready to set in. I will be making oatmeal. We'll do cookies and you know holiday baking and things like that. So I went ahead and got a five pound um, bag. And then sometimes I just like to grab a handful and snack on them. And we have 16 ounces of raw tahini here and a five pound bag of garbanzo beans. Dean requested this because he likes when I make hummus. He likes that a lot. He likes to snack on it. He likes having it for lunch. So I'll be making some hummus for him soon. Now, a subscriber um, had made a comment on one of my
my Azure hauls when I had bought some heavy cream and I wanted to make butter. And she said that she has this book called The Home Creamery that was just fantastic, um, you know, with butter recipes, yogurt, things like that. So I went ahead and I ordered it from Azure. I looked it up, they have it. Um, it's called The Home Creamery. And I've already been looking through it and I'm really anxious to get a read in um, because there's a lot of things that now it's nice to have the recipe on hand and you know just learn to do something new these are echinacea and zinc lozenges i'm going to try these for the first time um, these are basically kind of like an immune booster i've never tried anything like this and these look like a size that they'll fit nicely in my purse um, and just you need know, to have so i like to be ready for any little thing now, as you'll notice here, I have all different types of teas. I'm not planning on being sick, but I just wanted to have a few things. And this one's called Throat Coat. And we have Immune Zoom, Breathe Easy, and Herbal Cold Care. So I just wanted to have a few things on hand. Not planning on being sick, but just want to have um, something in my arsenal in case a scratchy throat should pop up. I'm, I've also stocked up on the vitamin D3. We've taken this before. It is really good. Um, so I just want to make sure that with the winter months coming and, you know, not getting the sunshine like we have this spring and summer that we have some vitamin D. This I'm just going to try. It is echinacea with zinc and vitamin C. I'm using it for immune support, um, and I'm just wanting to see how it works. I have heard a lot of great things about this. This is propolis cough elixir, and it is supposed to be um, basically a homeopathic replacement for cough syrup. And I'm really hoping that it, it works. I've, like I said, I've heard great things about it, but you know, I don't like a lot of the things that are in cough syrup when you do have to take it. Um, you know, I'm not kidding anyone. Everybody gets sick from time to time and you know, you want to have something to be able to relieve that. Should you get sick? Um, I do use fresh local honey. Um, but like I said, I like to have a few things in the, uh, medicine arsenal just as a backup. I also have three bags here of the late July organic sea salt dippers uh, for salsa. I'll also use these when we make nachos. Um, just fun to have the snack on. I also have 10 pounds of onions here. Azure's onions are beautiful. They are absolutely gorgeous. They're organic and 10 pounds will last me at least a month to six weeks. So I'm very happy to have these. I only had two left when picking up this order today. Oh, and I don't wanna leave out my little treat here. This organic coffee creamer. It is a mocha sweet cream. It's a powdered coffee creamer. It is so delicious. And this is a little treat for me. Dean doesn't um, use the mocha flavor in his coffee. He's welcome to try it because it is great. Now I have a lot of work ahead of me and I'm happy to have it. Um, not just because I have 50 pounds of potatoes to process, but I also have 20 pounds of ginger gold apples, which I will be canning into apple slices. I will make some apple butter and then I will go ahead and probably um, just do some fresh baking with those. As you can see, I also have 20 pounds of pears. These pears, while some of them are a bit small or they're a little misshapen or, you know, just natural stuff, not a perfectly shaped pear. You know, there really is no such thing, but these are transitional, what they call transitional pears. And what that means is that they were grown in an area that has organic practices but not their organic certification and i'm perfectly fine with that um, because 
to get an organic certification, you have to go through a lot and it's expensive. So, you know, a farm that has organic practices, I'm happy with that. And then to make my life a little bit easier, I went ahead, I've been wanting one for a while and bought this apple peeler, corer and slicer. It also works for potatoes. And it's funny because when we got in from unloading the truck and Dean saw all the fruit and the um, potatoes, he said, you need one of those peelers. I've been peeling all of them by hand when I would order them in previous orders. And so I said, I'm a step ahead of you. I got it covered. I got a peeler this month. So this is the Azure order for the month of October. Like I said, there's one left. Um, I did make note to Dean and I wanted to make note to you guys because I know in, I think my August video, it was, I said, we we're going to have a no shop September and we did. And it actually went really well. I did get a 25 pound bag of flour. I didn't run out of flour, but I did pick up a 25 pound bag of flour, but we did well. I'm going to use November to stock up on our local meats and do the last Azure order for the winter. But all in all, it's saying that it would do no good if I had a no shop September and then I spent double my budget in October. That's silly. You know, you're not saving anything. I do have a budget that we go by monthly uh, for food and I'm still $200 with this order. I'm still $200 under budget. And so that's great. So that means we saved all last month from not having to shop. And then we're still $200 under budget here. So, you know, for any items we may need to pick up, um, we can. Um, our, our budget is not outrageous, but we do save by buying in bulk. It really does save. So I'm glad we can do that. This is the order for the month of October. And I'm going to go ahead and get started on canning the produce. So as always, thank you for joining me up here on Rugged Mountain Homestead. I'm so glad you stopped by. And until the next time, take care. Thank you.